Hey guys, there's Soft Tech here and welcome back. Today on this episode of Inside the Gearbox, we're gonna be talking about proper cylinder to barrel volume ratios. So when airsoft techs talk about volume ratio, what they're referring to specifically is the amount of air in your cylinder in your airsoft gun's gearbox shell at normal atmospheric pressure versus the amount of air in your inner barrel at normal atmospheric pressure. So that kind of begs the question, what is the perfect volume ratio? Well, it's sort of dependent on what you want out of your gun, and we're gonna go into that in more detail. Before we talk about what an appropriate volume ratio is, we're gonna talk about what affects volume ratio, what affects that versus number here. And so, you know, what affects that number, that volume ratio is gonna be, you know, uh, is your cylinder a full cylinder or does it have a port? If it does have a port, how close is it to the cylinder head? How long is your barrel? How tight is your barrel? It actually does affect the volume ratio. And also, uh, what kind of gun are you trying to build here? Are you trying to build a gun that can shoot a heavyweight BB very far, because in that case you're going to want a higher volume ratio, or are you more okay with a, you know, shooting just 0.20 to 0.25 gram BBs, then you can actually have a lower volume ratio. So all these things can affect volume ratio and can affect how you make your decision in terms of what you want your volume ratio to be. Are you trying to jewel creep? Are you not trying to jewel creep? So there's a lot of factors that come into play here. So let's talk about under normal circumstances, what would be an appropriate volume ratio for your airsoft gun. So in a normal circumstances, you know, a stock gun straight from the factory, your normal volume ratio is going to look like about 1.5 to 1.8 to 1, meaning that you want about 1.5 to 1.8 times as much volume in your cylinder versus your barrel. All right, so now that we know more so what a normal volume ratio is, we can talk more about BB weight and how it is affected by your volume ratio. And so why do we choose heavier weight BBs versus lighter weight BBs? Usually it's because the heavier BB, the heavier projectile, is less affected by the wind, turbulence, and other factors that allow this BB to go further than the lighter weight BB. So that's why we tend to go with the heavier weight projectile in airsoft. So the problem with going with heavier and heavier and heavier BBs is that you eventually see a diminishing return effect when it comes down to range. And so this is because of your volume ratio. Now, if you could basically infinitely increase your volume ratio, you could nearly infinitely increase your range output. So, but we can't do this in airsoft, obviously. Well, I guess you might be able to if you had a massive air compressor and you hooked up to an HPA system, but that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about a mechanical rig, the old 90s style airsoft guns. So, you know, when we talk about volume ratio here, you really gotta find a sweet spot for what build you wanna go with. Now, you might be asking, why can't I just max out my volume ratio, have this massive volume ratio, so I can just have, so I can use whatever BB weight I want, 0.2 to 0.4. Now, that's a fairly good question, and now you're starting to get into the realm of jewel creep. And so, jewel creep does have a couple problems that I'm not really gonna get into in this video. This video is mainly just talking about volume ratio. But, I will tell you, it's fairly important to figure out what type of volume ratio you want because you want to make the most accurate and the most far shooting gun you possibly can in that setup. At least I like to. So now let's talk about BB weights and volume ratios and how far should you go with each volume ratio. So with a stock volume ratio gun, 1.5 to 1.8 to 1, the max BB weight I use is a 0.28 gram BB. Past that point, you're looking at diminishing returns. Your 0.3 or 0.32 gram BB is not gonna go as far as your 0.28 gram BB. And both of them are going to be really accurate. So 1.5 to 1.8 to 1 is about the maximum, you know, allows for a 0.28 gram BB at maximum. Now, when we're talking about 2 to 1 or 2.2 to 1, I'm thinking more so 0.3, 0.32, you can look at 0 0.34, 0 0.36, and when you're looking at 3 to 1 or 3.2 to 1, you can push that BB even further. So, or you can push that BB weight even further. So, those are the volume ratios versus BB weights that I personally recommend. That's what I do in my guns, and I find that it gets me some pretty good range, some really good accuracy, and some really good results. Like I said, I'm not really talking about jewel creep in this video. This is gonna make it significantly longer and just kind of too long for the average viewer to want to watch. We'll talk about jewel creep in a later video. Now let's actually talk about how to calculate volume ratio and figure out what is appropriate for your gun. 
All right, so I've got everything I need to calculate my cylinder to barrel volume ratio. So what you need is a set of calipers. You know, digital is preferable, but if you don't have digital, manual is also fine. You need your cylinder, obviously. You need your cylinder head and you need your barrel. So I guess you don't really need your barrel if you already know its dimensions, but whatever. Uh, so you, the reason you need your cylinder head, it's self-explanatory when you need your cylinder. The reason you need your cylinder head is because you need to be able to subtract the amount of space that the cylinder head takes up within the cylinder uh, to calculate your actual effective volume in the cylinder. So obviously you take your calipers here and you start by measuring from the port if you have one. If you don't have one in the full cylinder, the volume of the cylinder. We're coming up with about 46.6 in length. This will be our cylinder, so we'll do 46.6 millimeters in length. So now we need to figure out what to subtract from that length via the cylinder head. So let's do this here. Let's And I, the way I've always done it is I've measured off of the O-ring to the sorbothane pad or AOE correction, whatever you've done here. If you've corrected AOE off of your piston, then you definitely still need to uh, take that into account too. So we're getting about 6.2 millimeters. All right. So that's going to turn out to about 40.4 millimeters. That's going to be the, the length of our cylinder. So now I got to figure out the radius to figure out the volume. So now, if you have a pair of calipers like mine, you can just tilt them over and measure your diameter. This doesn't feel right. Oh, 23.5, which turns out to about 11.75, I think so. Yeah, let's go with that. So that will be my radius. Radius. Obviously, that is in millimeters. So now that's our cylinder. We've got all the values we need. We have the length and we have the radius. So now let's go to the barrel. Now we know our barrel is 363 millimeters in length. I can measure it off of this uh, really cool work mat here. So it's 363 millimeters in length. And then the radius is going to be, you know, it's 6.03 barrel, so we're just going to go with 3 millimeters is our radius. That's our length. So now we're going to use Google to plug all those numbers in and figure out what our volume ratio is. So real quick about the barrel, there's really no you know dead space in the barrel like there is with your cylinder head in the cylinder. Nothing to subtract, everything in the barrel is accounted for here, so we don't have to subtract anything to obtain a true length or a true radius. So let's calculate our cylinder volume first. It's going to be 40.4, actually, no, nope, that's not our radius, 40.4 and then the radius is 11.75 and you don't need to plug in measurements into this calculation you're using all the same measurements so the measurements shouldn't matter there's no uh, dimensional analysis or anything you need to do to actually change any of the figures. All of, all of the measurements and numbers are taken within the same value, so it's okay. Um, or the same measurement. So that is our cylinder volume right there. So now let's calculate our barrel volume. The radius of our barrel is 3 millimeters. And the length is 363 mill millimeters. So 10,200 and 63. So now, let's just real quick go get a calculator. So you're going to divide your cylinder uh, volume 
by your barrel volume here. So 17,522 divided by 10,263. 1.7, that is our cylinders volume versus our barrels volume. So this is a fairly stock setup you can see. You know, 1.7 falls within that 1.5 to 1.8 range that most stock guns come with. So that means that uh, we can use a 0.20 to 0.28 gram BB and not really see uh, diminishing returns until we hit 0.3 grams of our BB weight. So there you have it. There is our volume ratio, and that is how you calculate it. All right, that's going to have to do it for this video. As always, thank you guys very much for watching, and please like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me down below what you think I can do different in the next video to make it more enjoyable and more informative. I hope you guys learned something today about volume ratios and all that good stuff. I know you guys are wanting a jewel creep video as well. Trust me, that is coming. Uh, it's long overdue. But this video was just a necessary part one uh, you know, for volume ratios and all that stuff. You gotta understand the basics before you can move on to the cool stuff in jewel creeping. So once again, thank you for watching. But uh, I'm gonna have to see you guys in the next video of whatever the heck I'm doing. But until then, stay tuned, Tex.